Hey everybody, Richard here with another scale model kit review for you. Let's go to the bench and check out what we've got today. It's the Star Trek USS Enterprise bridge set from AMT. So we're here at the bench and looking at the Star Trek USS Enterprise bridge set from AMT. This is a reproduction of the original kit which came out in the 70s for the USS Enterprise. This is a much bigger box than we're used to seeing. Um, the artwork on it is pretty standard. This is artwork that I think we've seen before. Uh, however, the sides, uh, now we get some beautiful artwork uh, from the actual stills from the movie. Nothing too special over there. A little bit of information about the bridge and um, some of the other a little diagram and, and things like that. And on the back side, this is what I thought was really cool. Let me just flip it around there. Is that they have, this is now the first time we've seen the kit come with all the parts to build a completely round um, bridge set. Now, bear in mind that this is not completely accurate to... Uh, what we saw on the show. It is a representation, however, so if you're looking for accuracy, you're going to have to do some kit modifications if you want to make things look a little better. Um, I know that some of the parts in the kit are new. It, this kit now comes with a lot more figures than the original kit did. The original kit only came with three figures. Um, this figure, however, or this kit, however, comes with a total of 10. So you can have all the principal characters on the bridge at one time now. All right, let's get into looking at what's in the box. Now, we've opened this box already, so we know we kind of have an idea of what's in here. We're just going to set the top aside. Inside, we find a standard set of instructions. Um, it shows you basically all the different heads that you get. Uh, so you get a, quite a collection of heads. You get some new bodies. You get some new stands. Um, simply laid out. This is very similar to the original layout of uh, the plans that, that came for this kit back in the day. And not too much has changed in that respect. However, they do have new walls, as, as I'm going to explain in, in just a few minutes. Now, if we look down at the bottom, it has all the color callouts. Uh, you can build this so that you can have it look like the original bridge kit. But what would be the point? Let's build this so that it has the look of the set, that same camera angle that we always saw looking towards the bridge uh, and looking towards the turbo lift. So that's probably what we're going to do with this kit. Um, there's all the instructions for where all the decals go. And that is pretty much it in a nutshell. There's some more on the back of to where all the decals go. And this has an updated decal set from my understanding. Um, everything is poly bagged as we're used to seeing. So let's uh, start taking that out. We've got one, two, three and four bags of sprue. Um, this last bag contains all the supplementary stuff like the rails that go around the bridge, um, some of the instrument panels, or the helm, pardon me, and then we've got a lot of the figures and all the heads and that sort of thing on here as well. Uh, rest of the stuff that's in the box is your typical round two AMT literature. And here is the decal sheet. Um, the decals, of course, are in a nice poly bag as well. So let's, uh, let's get rid of the box. And we'll start with the decal sheet. Now, one of the things I like to do, and this is just me personally, is I like to, uh, always make a scan of my decals. Um, I'll put them on my flatbed scanner and I will, uh, see what they look like. And I'll always make a high definition scan. Now it comes with this nice little protective paper over top, and there are the decals. My goodness, these are these are actually quite nice. Color on them is good. Uh, they're laid out pretty well. If you wanted to light this bridge, you could. Um, there's several different ways that you can you can do that. Um, by cutting out the, the view screens and, and so on and so forth. When we get into the build of this, we're going to show you that, and we're going to get into the build a little bit later on uh, in Amazing Plastic Scale Model Show. Um, 
Other than that, we've got a red alert. We've got all the little screens. We've got all the instrument panels. Nothing is three-dimensional, however, but you can fix that as a kit builder yourself. So we're just going to put that aside now, put that back in its poly bag, and let's get to some of the what's in the plastic bags here. We will start with this bag. Now, this bag has all of the goodies that we need to assemble the figures. It has several heads in this bag as well as several bodies. Um, it's white plastic. The previous kits were done in uh, a gray plastic, if I'm not mistaken. I do have one of those kicking around here somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's a, there's a stand for the chairs. One has obviously come off the tree. Um, always watching your bags for... Uh, parts like that. Now, again, as I said, it's not very accurate. The footing on this could be accurized a little bit better, um, but it is what it is. I mean, a lot of this came from the original molds. Um, the seats need some detailing for those that are interested in detailing. Flash-wise, uh, it looks really good. It's nice and clean. There's not a lot of flash, if any, uh, that I can see so far. It comes with a lot of little round bases for the for the figures. And there we go. We have two standing figures, and we have three, four seated figures. So that gives us a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. That gives us eight figures. Why does it say we can build ten? Oh, well. Um, ten different figures we can build. There's ten different heads. That's what it is. So we've got uh, Uhura, and then we have another uh, young lady here. Uh, I believe she was a, a bit character. We didn't see her much. One of the few things that this thing comes with, it comes with some new scanners. It has Spock scanner right here. Uh, let me see if I can get that a little bit closer to the, to the monitor. We have Spock scanner that went on his station right here, and we also have Sulu's targeting scanner, which is right here. Uh, that's an addition to this kit along with all the figures. Let's look at the wall sections. This bag here holds wall sections that are pretty standard to the old kit as well as um, the outer ring where everything happens. Again, just two little, two little sprues. Um, one has some floor sections in it, which is pretty standard. And the other has the wall sections with the dual screens. Again, this is now molded in white, not molded in uh, the gray. This obviously came off of the old tooling mold because we can see that there's a little bit of rust that is forming on some of the, some of the tree. Um, however, the parts themselves, other than a little bit of rust right here, not too bad. Uh, it's a nice, decent weight plastic. Um, they're all numbered, so again, this probably came from the original tooling mold. Let's see what else do we have here. We've got uh, Captain Kirk's chair in this bag, as well as a few other goodies. And I always say don't cut towards yourself, but I always tend to do it, and I don't know why. Uh, again, we've got the turbo lift doors, which are inaccurate. We all know that. Um, you can fix those up if you so choose. I think I'll probably be fixing those up by adding some, some plastic to them just to give them more of a, a of an authentic look. Uh, again, that's a standard piece, and this is also a standard piece with the captain's chair on it, which there are aftermarket kits where you can get a little bit more accurate chair. So let's toss this all down in the box, and we'll get to some of the new additions on this kit. Which, to be perfectly honest with you, I think uh, are going to work out for the builder and all of us because we've got uh, the new wall sections, which are in this, this last bag. This kit really lends itself to somebody who wants to light. Uh, it's very easy to cut out the screens, uh, you know, using a pin vise, that kind of thing. You can do so. Okay, in this last bag, we have... More floor sections. We have the bottom of the captain's chair. We have the view screen, um, some of the steps, that sort of stuff. Uh, again, the center section for the helm and for the captain's chair. 
And this is one of the big additions to this kit. Now, how well you can see that, I'm not sure. But on this particular uh, tree, we have two sections of wall that have a single screen. Now, Dawn's Light and Magic came out with a kit that had, or pieces that you could purchase, aftermarket pieces, that had a single screen in them. How well this is going to lend to what he has done, uh, I don't know. I haven't seen his parts, so I can't directly compare them. But having these two new sections, you can build the bridge in a complete round and really uh, go to town. Now, looking at these in comparison to the other ones, it just looks like this section here was changed. That looks like the only piece that was changed. Everything else looks pretty standard. Again, you can cut all, all these areas out and light them up if you so choose. I think it's a good kit. Round 2's done a great job in giving us the first complete round kit to the USS Enterprise TOS. Stay tuned for more. Uh, kit reviews coming up in the future. We're going to be looking at a, a few other things that are not sci-fi related, but uh, we will get back to that. Until next time, we'll see you right here at the bench.